the good news as in terms of continuity is we actually have seen a version of the Trump movie before, right? And so we do have a general idea of, of what we can expect. Uh, now, personnel is policy. And who, is, who he would bring mm. in in a second term does matter, right? Because, you know, a lot of the really fundamental things that were laid down by that early uh, Trump administration were heavily influenced by you know, really seasoned professionals like H.R. McMaster and James Mattis. You know, news national security strategy, the first one that really correctly defined our relationship with China, lifted the, the blinders off of official Washington. It, and official Washington was ready to be, to be convinced. I mean, I think there were lots of people, they, this is nonpartisan, you know, uh, thing. It's, it's just that somebody yeah. had to actually write it down and say, hey, we're going to have to compete with these folks because they've been competing with us for a very long time and we have not, haven't really been competing back. Again, uh, James Mattis and the National Defense Strategy, these were really key documents. So it's, what we're hoping is that we get that quality of appointments in what would be a second Trump administration. We, we, we kind of know where his, his impulses lie, right? It's, we're probably going to have a confrontational kind of trade policy. That's not all a bad thing, right? I mean, mm. if, you, if you're able to, to, to work it in the right way where you're, you know, so our, our more confrontational trade pr policy with China was actually probably overdue, right? And yeah. we've mostly seen that continue through the, the Biden administration because, frankly, these Chinese companies had been competing on such an unfair playing field for so long, it had to be corrected. Um, so how does that affect the Indo-Pacific? The people that I have seen floated as senior officials in a second Trump administration have largely been people who are very favorable toward a focus on the Indo-Pacific. So I think that my, I can be pretty optimistic that that might play to the advantage uh, of a place like the Philippines. Uh, not that I think that there's been anything wrong with the Biden administration's focus, but at least we, you know, we say this is the, you know, at least if there is a pullback from a part of the world, it's not going to be here. 